Thanksgiving's coming up. What are you going to do? Oh, you know, my, well, well, here I am. You're here. I, I live in Los Angeles. Right. Are you going to make it back? Are you going to? Yes. Gonna if okay. the weather, if all things, okay. if I still am sitting up and taking nourishment tomorrow, I'll be on an airplane early in the morning to join my wife, Emily, and our two kids. I've Great. got a four year old and two year old, two boys. Very close to us, yeah. Very close. We should have a play date. Yes, in fact, please. My wife is doing what I think Alexia is doing, which is lobbying for another baby. Oh, she is lobbying for another baby, yes. yeah. We're on the fence, but I, I, I could see us doing it now more than ever. <laughs> Really? You can? And then, you, you know, and I don't slide. know, and then once, uh, if you do it, you might end up with a baby. I but what about you? Are, you? are you feeling, uh, are you pro? Uh, I, I, I sit at her feet. I think I, every, anything she thinks is a good idea yeah. to me. And she's, you know, she's, yeah, she's a Do the she's kids have an input yet? Have, they, have you checked in with them? Do you want a little baby sister? Wouldn't you like a little baby sister? I think they've said yes, you know, yeah. but uh, what, what do they know? But, right. um, <laughs> but I think so. You're feeling, you're feeling a little I, You know, I certainly don't think, uh, you know, I came from two, uh, uh, so I thought, oh, that's all, that's perfect. Uh. And, but at the same time, I'm like, I wouldn't be like we'd regret it. You know, I don't think uh, we'd ever, <laughs> I don't think we'd ever say on a road trip, you know, this could have been better. Um, <laughs> this could have been a little less cramped. Of what? Just the two, or you? Yeah, mean, no. I mean, if we have three, but I think if we have three, we'd be happy, and we would. Uh, I'm very psychic. I see that you're going to eventually have eleven. You think eleven? Yeah, I don't know why. I think you're going to have eleven children. Well, you're very good at this, so I I'm take your word good. for it. You, uh, you have something very exciting coming up in a couple of weeks. I do. Yeah. You're doing something a little out of your well, not out of your comfort zone, because I think you're comfortable everywhere. Oh, but uh, I know what you're talking about. Hey, you know what I'm going to do? That's right. I, I'm dying to talk to you about this. I'm going to sub host. Yeah. One of these talk shows for Mr. James Corden. You're going to be a fill-in host. I'm going to be a fill-in for one, one they night. They allowed me to say, they said it was okay to say, December 12th, I'll be doing it, so I'm, I'm learning all about it. It's very exciting. You will be great at it. You'll be a natural. I don't know. But I do want to point out uh, that uh, uh, James, a uh, wonderful guy that he is, uh, we're on against each other. So I you know. will be, on December 12th, it's going to be mano a mano. Well, well... <laughs> I, look, I'm not trying to put you in your head. I think it'll be wonderful. What can you say? But I want to ask you a million questions on and off the air. You know, I'm already, I shadowed him last week. I spent the whole day doing what I guess you do, which is yeah. 10 a.m. in the morning, get together with the, the writers and da 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 Yeah, and you're going to love it. I, I love it already. Well, it's a, I'm now, I, I, I'm, this is, it seems like a really good segue, but it is also a very natural one. This is a lot like the show that you're doing well, in fact, on Disney+, yeah. Plus, which is you basically... You explore new experiences and, and topics that are interesting to you. I'm a little bit, I'm quite curious, and I have the, uh, the, the I'm so lucky to be on this show. I'm the host of this show called The World According to Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. It's on Disney Plus streaming once a week. We did 12 of them. They're half hours. And yes, they're items of familiarity. And Like the, you did an episode on denim. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Genuinely, but it was fascinating because I think we all, obviously, uh, we have denim in our lives and we yeah. don't think much about it These past that. These familiar things, although people love them. A lot of people yeah. love them. Did you know, I didn't know this, that half the population of the world at any, on any given day is wearing denim. Are they really? Half. Wow. Half. Isn't that something? That's great. Hey, we found in the denim episode, I visited, where did I go? To the Levi store in headquarters in San Francisco where they create all these things. You know, denim, with the, in the last couple of decades, with the proliferation of so much denim, uh, we're playing, doing horrible things to the waterways with oh, the yeah. dyes and the chemicals. But they're fixing it. They're people who are kind of doing good things. Oh, that's good. In this world, in this fraught world, there are people who are making their lives better and the lives of others better. You did something very cool. And there was an episode about pools. Is that, am I accurate? There? Pools. Yes, yes. Yeah. I went to Raging Waters. I'd never been to there. He went yeah. into a sensory deprivation tank. Uh -huh. da, 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 da. And then I went uh, to NASA, a neutral buoyancy lab. And How was that? It was great. I talked to astronauts. Mm -hmm. It was really good. You know, I talked to... I talked to, you know who was there? There was a wife of one of the astronauts who was currently up in the space station. Oh, wow. And she said, hey, you know, he likes you, and da da da, da. I'm going to give him a call. She got in touch with me. He called me on my cell phone. I talked to a guy who was up there right now. He's still up there. Wow. He's up there for four or five months. He called you on your cell phone? Yes. Was it, did, was it weeks later, or was it call him now? And it, I was there. It was, it was there. Wow. I was there. Yes. And it was clear as a bell, much clearer than when you're going up Laurel Canyon, and for instance. Yeah. I, I don't know how they do it. But it was great. It was great. But I'd seen that movie, First Man, recently. Uh-huh. 
Anyway, she told me a story that the last time and the first time that he went up the thing, as the kids, they have a couple of boys, were watching, it exploded. Really? Un they, there was, there's a way for them to get out on a kind of a, you know, you know, lifeboat kind of thing, but they didn't know for a while. It was very touch and go and very scary. So this last time he went up again, she was telling me this story and I was crying. It was very, very moving. That's Amazing. Fantastic. Yeah, that's fantastic. What a cool show that you get to go and meet people like this and totally have these experiences. Cool. But just like you, it's kind of like this job. Yeah, I'm interested in people, and so are you. That's why I so am good. like an astronaut. It's true. No. <laughs> no, that's not what you're like. You're like saying. an interested okay, person. Oh, okay, guy. Yeah, 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 Speaking yeah, yeah. of which, your Netflix special, oh, I must that's very say, kind. you must, any woman or child within the sound of my voice, <laughs> so charismatic. And what a master craftsperson. Very, very kind of you it's to a say. Beautiful item.